Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World and today we're going to go over the 2018 Thor Freedom Elite 29 FE. This is an awesome Class C. I love this floor plan. You can see the dinette is straight across from the couch here. Nice big slide, opens up our main living area, opens up our kitchen, and you have a great uh, view from the couch to the TV. This particular model we're looking at today is in the Bayside 2 interior, and you have the Brazilian cherry wood. Let's start off right here in the entryway. We'll make our way around. Uh, you do have a mirror right here, which is kind of cool. Again, it helps open the space up, feel a little bit bigger. Plus, you can see yourself, you know, if you want to hang out on the couch or kind of, you know, take a look uh, right before you head out the door there. And then right up above the door, you have some good additional storage. One of the things I love that they do in here is you have struts on your overhead doors. So that way it's nice, one uh, easy one-hand operation. The door itself, you'll see they also have this nice grab handle here. That really helps when uh, exiting the coach. That way if you have bad knees, you have great control. And take a look right down here. You know, sometimes it's the small features that I really like in a coach, and that's one of them right there. You have step lights. You have one right there. You also have another one in the bedrooms. It's a small step to step up into the bedroom there. So that way at night, you know, if you have to get up and use the bathroom, you can see, make sure you don't fall. Or maybe you're going out, hanging out with other friends at their campsite, and you come back. You can leave those lights on again. That way you can see at night without disturbing anyone else in the coach. Right over here on the door side, you have this big, beautiful window, which really lets in a lot, a ton of natural light here. Uh, and also, if you're sitting in the dinette, you want to take a view out to your campsite, you can still do that right out here. A couple LED lights, so you have light at night. And then you have speakers right over here. Uh, those are controlled by your multimedia center, but that's great. You know, that way if you want to sit in here, listen to some music, you can certainly do that. You'll also notice you have cup holders here. I really like that. You have cup holders both from the couch. You also have some of the dinette I'll show you in a little bit. But that way, if you do have additional passengers, you know, while you're riding, going down the road, this gives you a spot to put your, you know, can of pop or bottle of water, whatever it may be, without having it fall all over the place. Uh, this jackknife sofa does have three seatbelts, so you can have three additional riders here. has armrests that are built in. I like this. They are removable, so if you want to pull them out, it's nice and easy to just uh, slide right into some channels there. You will want to pull those out to be able to form this into a bed. Uh, but, you know, it does drop down into a sleeping area, which is also nice. Uh, back up top real quick here, take a look at that. Big storage, as I mentioned, you have struts there too, so it opens everything up nice and big. Uh, but I love the extra storage that you have up here. Also, you know, if you do want to hook up another TV, you'll see you have some outlets right up there. So, you know, if you wanted a second one up top or something, you can certainly do that. Speaking of up top, let's take a quick look at the cab over. Starting off right here, I love that they do this. They have this nice soft touch right here on the exterior. Not only does this feel great, but it's also super easy to clean up, right? So if you, you, know, you have a rider here and they accidentally hit a big bump and you spill pop or coffee or something all over here, it is nice, easy cleanup. But also they continue that soft touch all the way along this front part. You have rubber right here up top. So that way as you're going down in the passenger or driver's seat, if you accidentally hit your head, you're not going to you know, have a big goose egg, split your head open, anything like that. Uh, so it is, uh, again, you know, nice and easy to get down, and you don't have to worry about hurting yourself. The other thing I love about the cab over, one is the weight. So this cab over can hold 500 pounds. Most manufacturers are somewhere between 300 to 350. And, uh, you know, if you're a bigger guy, I mean, I myself, you know, I'm around the 200 mark. You know, if, if, if sometimes it can be hard to stay under that 300, that 350 pound weight limit. So with the 500 pounds, you know you're going to be safe. You don't have to worry about breaking anything. It is nice and easy to form the bed. You just take this cushion right here. You'll drop this down and in. Uh, it does have a spot for the ladder to hook into, which is nice and easy. That obviously just sits right into here so you can climb up top. Then in both sides, take a look at this. This is pretty cool. Right here, you'll see you have storage bins. You have that on both sides. The thing I like about this, though, is you can actually take both sides out, right? Let's say you don't have any other passengers that are going to be up here. You know, your kids aren't coming, grandkids aren't coming, friends, just going to be, you know, one or two of you. Perfect. Take all this stuff out. You have all this up here for storage. Again, 500 pounds you can put up there, which is cool. Uh, if you do have people sleeping up there, you will notice right on this side, you have some cup holders up there as well. So again, cup holders everywhere in this thing, that is certainly not an issue. Window off to the side here, and then you also have a vent up top. Now you do have ducted AC, so you know if a really hot day you want to run air conditioning, you can do that. But I like having the vent up here too, in case you, know, you just want a nice breeze, because uh, normally it gets pretty hot up here. So open up some windows, open that up, you'll have some nice cross ventilation coming through. This radio does act as your uh, backup screen as well for your backup camera. So as soon as you put this in reverse, 
uh, right on here will pop up what is behind you. And it's also touch screen, which is nice. So, you know, if you uh, want to change a channel, you can just touch the screen here, which is pretty cool. My favorite thing about it, though, is some of the auxiliary ports. So if you go into the mode here, you can change. You see you have an auxiliary in. It is Bluetooth capable. So, you know, if you uh, want to connect to your cell phone or anything like that via Bluetooth, you can do that. My favorite part, though, is the mirroring right here. So if you look over to the side, you see a USB charger, so you can charge phones via USB, but right above that is an HDMI outlet. So the thing I like about this, you can take an HDMI cable from here, plug it into your phone or a tablet, and it will literally take what is on the screen and put it right here. The big use for that is GPS. I myself use Google Maps for pretty much everything to get anywhere. Uh, and it's not because I can't use a map to find my way. It's the, the fact that Google Maps will actually uh, you know, take traffic into account or if there's any accidents or slowdowns, and it will reroute you on the fly. So I really like the fact that you can just plug that in right there, have it up on here. That way you don't have to have your phone in your hand, especially for states where you can't, uh, you know, it's illegal to hold something in your hand, and it still gives you that GPS. So uh, I really do like the fact that they did that. You also have a couple other options on here. You have a micro SD port, as I mentioned, is Bluetooth capable. Uh, you have an auxiliary port here as well, so if you need to use that, you can. Then directly underneath that, you have all your standards, you know, for your heat, your AC. You also have two 12-volt plugs here in case you want to charge that route instead of the USB. And you have plenty of cup holders here as well. You see you have a couple right over here. You have this guy over to the side, which, you know, would honestly hold a small bottle of water. Or if you have, uh, like, change or something you want to put in there, you can do that too. Plenty of other, uh, other things, other little storage bins here as well. One of the cool things about this, though, is, you know, if you want extra leg room or you don't really want this here, this guy actually just lifts right up and comes right off. So, you know, maybe you have a dog or something that wants to ride right up here with you. You have that extra space. You can just take this guy right out. And it's super simple and easy to just snap that back into place. So uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature, too. Uh, as we take a look over on the other side here, this is the dinette. Nice, large, dream dinette. You can see you have plenty of space. When I uh, sit in here, you can see I have a lot of space to the front of the table here. You know, so if you're a little bit bigger, again, you have room. Same thing with your legs. The table's not right down on top of my legs, which is nice. Some cup holders here as well, again. And uh, this is a dream dinette, so this does drop down into a bed nice and easily. All you have to do is this little lever right over here. Just flip this guy over. You can push that all the way down. You obviously want to move the bottom cushions. Then you take the top cushions, put them on top right here and that will create your sleeping space. This one side also has two seat belts, so you can have two additional riders there, which is great. And if you take a look underneath, there's also an electrical outlet right down below. So if you need to you know, work on a laptop or tablet or something, you can plug it in right there. Two more windows here, again, for natural light, and right in the center is that TV I was talking about. And as I said, it is a great view uh, directly across from the couch. Even sitting in the dinette here, you know you can still have uh, a decent angle at the TV. For storage, you will see on this side right over here, you have the nice large pull-out drawer. Uh, drawer. Look how big that is. It's a huge drawer, which is awesome. So that's a great spot for some of your larger items. And again, because it's that pull-out drawer, it's super easy to get into. Moving into the kitchen here. Uh, you know, decent sized kitchen. What they did is they gave you a recessed cooktop so you can use this as prep space right here. I do like they did that. Then I like they did this too. You know, again, it's a minor feature, but I think it's pretty neat. They put this uh, rail right here so that way if you have any water runoff, it's not going to run into the back of your dinette. It stays right up on your countertop like you'd expect. Uh, they went to a nice big single bowl sink this year instead of the split. I personally like it. I think it was a good change because this is a super deep bowl. That way if you do have big pots and pans, you can actually fit them down in there. A lot of manufacturers will give you a stainless steel bowl, but it's like you know half of this depth, maybe two thirds at the, at the best. So I like the fact it is a big bowl. And you have the pull out faucet here, so it's easy to wash and rinse dishes. And check this out. You need a plug in, you know, we have coffee makers, something like that. You know, there are manufacturers that are going to these power towers. I really like this one. It's kind of cool. All you do is you push down this outside ring. It has like a spring built in. That uh, kind of frees up this knob. You can then pull that up just like so and take a look. You have three standard outlets there as well as two USB ports. So uh, plenty of uh, availability to plug things in there. When you're done, you just push it right back down. It hides nice and easily. Then right up top here, you'll see you have a couple LED lights plus another electrical outlet. So again, plenty of availability to plug things in here. You know, uh, if you have a coffee maker you want to set in permanently without popping this up, you can plug it in right up top there. Up above, you'll see you have good storage here. Uh, this is actually your Blu-ray player. 
tucked away right over here. That is already pre-wired to your TV. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. Adjustable shelf here as well. So if you do want to you know, raise this up even more, or lower it down, you can certainly do that too. Microwave right over here to the side. Um, and as I had mentioned, right down here is your recessed cooktop with that glass cover. This is pretty cool. Just fold that back like so, acts as a backsplash. That'll open up your three burner. The front one is high output. The other thing I like is this right here. Instead of your traditional hood, which doesn't really work all that great anyway, they have like this steel plate, so that way anything, you know, if you're cooking like bacon, you don't have to worry about uh, grease splattering all over the bottom of your cupboards. This is easy to clean up. But they have a standard LED light there. Usually when you have the hood, it has this dingy light. You can't really see what you're cooking. Not the case here, so I do like that. Another quick thing, you know, talk, talk briefly about construction. One of the things I like they do in the Freedom Elite, everywhere you have these cabinets, Behind it, in the wall itself, they have EGS steel. So that way, you know, when they are attaching these, it's not just going into the, you know, your sidewall like normally. It goes into that EGS steel as well, meaning that these cabinets are extremely strong. You don't have to worry about, you know, these falling off. You'll see that in some manufacturers where your cabinets are actually starting to fall. Certainly will not be an issue in the Freedom Elite. Right underneath here is your oven. So if you like to do some baking, it's nice and easy to uh, get into that. And directly underneath, you have this nice big full extension drawer. You can see you have a ton of room in here. Silverware tray in there as well. Uh, but that is a big storage area. Underneath the sink, you can see right over here is your trash can. Uh, you know, I love when manufacturers do this. Not only do they uh, give you room for a trash can, but they actually give you the trash can. So you don't have to go out and try to find one that will fit for you. Then over here to this side, you see you have some additional storage. A little bit up top, maybe enough for some spices there. Then you have two full extension ball bearing drawers right over here to the side. So we make our way uh, back across the way. This is your main control panel right over here. Uh, you'll see your generator is on there. Your tank monitoring panel is right there as well. Uh, this is really cool. You can see this one comes with tank heaters. So if you are one that likes to camp into the colder seasons, you don't have to worry about it. You can flip your tank heaters on there, make sure things aren't going to freeze up on you. And for the water heater, uh, you will notice that the water heater there does run off both LP gas as well as electric. Thermostat directly below. This will control both your ducted heat as well as the ducted AC. And then rounding out the kitchen is your Norcold fridge freezer right over here. You see the freezer space up top there, plenty of space down below. Nice cutout for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. But I also like it because the thermostat is right here on the outside. So if you do need to adjust the temp, it is super easy to do that. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. Right on the back side of the door here, you see you have a triple towel rack, which is great. Nice and simple to use right there. And definitely making great use of the space. So we step into the bathroom itself. You see I have pretty, gr uh, pretty good room in here. The toilet is pretty cool. It's kind of like a high-rise toilet, right? You can see it's lifted up a little bit. But the reason I like it is it makes it really easy to get off of. If you're a little bit older, you know, a lot of times if it's a low sitting toilet, it can kind of be a struggle. Not an issue here. You know, you can just put your hand right here on the countertop and be able to uh, get, up, get up and off of it very easily. And it is a porcelain bowl, so it is very easy to clean too. You also see right underneath, you have a heat vent. So that way, you know, if it's a cold morning, you want to warm it up in here, perfect. You'll get nice and toasty real quick because, you know, it's a bathroom. It's not a huge space you're heating up. Large countertop, you can see that right over here. You have an electrical outlet. So if you have like an electric toothbrush or something you need to charge, it's nice and easy to do that. Plug in a razor or whatever it may be. Uh, stainless steel bowl as well, so nice upgraded bowl there. Some storage underneath. You can take a look at that. You know, probably a good place to hide some extra toilet paper or something. Maybe your toilet chemicals. Speaking of toilet paper, toilet paper holders right over to the side, right where you'd expect it. Super easy to get to. And then some additional storage right there. Maybe if you want to throw some magazines or something there. I don't know. Then right over here on the side is your mirrored medicine cabinet. Good storage on both sides there. You have a double uh, cabinet, which I like. Two LED lights up top. Vent fan up there too to quickly help moisture escape. Over to the side here is the shower. I'll take a step in so you can see. Uh, one of the things I do want to point out, very sturdy shower floor. I mean, a lot of times, you know, when you're in a shower, you feel like you're going to fall through the bottom. Not the case here. I mean, it, it doesn't even flex. So extremely strong shower floor, which I like. Uh, has a built-in door, super simple and easy to use. This just closes off then you know, it attracts right back in. Hand wand for ease of use, you know, that way you can shower nice and easily here. It also helps clean the shower. You know, I like having the hand wand, so after you're done, you know, washing the walls or whatever, you can just use that. 
A uh, big skylight here too. Not only does this let in a lot of natural light, it also gives you additional headroom. I'm six foot. You can see, you know, I don't really need the skylight, but if you're six three, six four, being able to have that extra room will definitely be a big bonus. And then right here in the corner, you have some shelves. You have a place to put your soap and shampoo. The bedroom in the 29 FE is nice and spacious. You see, you have a full walk around slide out bed here. Nice queen bed, good storage on both sides as well, uh, you, or rather shelf space, you see the shelf there. So, you know, if you have a glass of water or something, cell phone you need to put there at night, you have a spot to do it. Electrical outlet on the side of the bed as well, so you have a place to plug those in. Or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you're still able to plug that in too. You'll see up across the top, you have great storage. I'll open this up for you so you can see. Nice deep storage there, and as I mentioned previously, because it is an overhead bin, it has the strut for simple one hand operation. Directly underneath, you have a couple LED lights there in case you want to read a book at night, as well as windows on both sides of the slide. You also have a large window right here, so if you do have a really nice view out the back, you can still enjoy that. And this also acts as an emergency exit. Directly above here, of course, you have your ducted AC. You also have a vent, again, if you want to open up some windows for cross ventilation. But my favorite part here, take a look at the foot of the bed. You have a huge wardrobe. You have a triple door wardrobe here, hanging rod going all the way across. So lots of good storage space in there. Then as we take a look over to the side here, look at this. You pop this guy up, you have some good storage right in there, built in shelf. If uh, you want a TV in the bedroom, you can just remove this door. You do have TV hookups in here, so this is where your TV would go. Uh, and then you have drawer space running all the way down. You know, you have three large full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see how nice and deep those are too. And this bottom one here is really big. Take a look at that. So if you have some larger items like, you know, maybe your jeans or sweatshirts, you know, that you don't want to hang up, you certainly have room for those in here as well. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features of the Freedom Elite 29 FE. This particular unit is built on the Ford E450 chassis, which houses your uh, 6.8 liter V10, putting out 305 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. On both sides here, you have the nice uh, mirrors that extend out from the coach, so you're able to see beyond the motorhome portion here. And you do have the bi-directional mirrors. That way it will help cover your blind spots, as well as allow you to see the lines in the road to make sure you're staying in the middle of your lane. One of the things I love about the Freedom Elite, right up front here is your front cap. This is a standard on here. You don't have to option that in. Beautiful front cap, which definitely helps with some aesthetics, gives it a great look. Also helps provide some extra insulation. Making our way back a little bit further here, you see the power awning on the home portion here. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have adjustable pitch, so if you want to adjust the pitch, it's super simple. You can pull this down on either side, that way you can have the rain go to one side or the other. And then you will also notice that right underneath you have an LED light strip. So just touch a button, you have light at night. The adjustable awning as well, it doesn't matter if you do have it pulled down, when you roll it in it will straighten itself back out. So don't worry, you're not going to break anything uh, by adjusting the pitch there, which is really nice. The other thing I love about this is take a look. Underneath this entire awning there is not a single vent. meaning. All of this is great usable camp space here. You see it provides a lot of great shade. You want to watch the TV, perfect. You can sit right outside here. You see this is strut assisted, lifts up nice and easy there. There's your TV, sit a bunch of chairs around, be able to watch the game. You'll also notice you have speakers here on both sides as well, so that way if you want to rock out to some music, you can do that too. Right underneath here, we'll open this guy up, and you can see you have some nice extra storage right there. The uh, you have like the composite bins in here, which are really nice because that way, you know, if you get any water in there, maybe you put some jugs of water, don't have to worry about anything spilling, it's not going to rust out on you, no big deal. You also have an LED light in there in case you need to get in there at night. Making right back a little bit further here, this is your entry door. You'll notice you have the grab handle right here as well to help assist into the RV. You also have a window which helps let in some natural light there. Uh, let's take a brief moment and talk a little bit about construction. So. One of the things I love about the Freedom Elite, this exterior skin right here is the HD Max fiberglass. Cool thing about this is this does have a gel coat on here. It's also colored all the way through. It has that same colored pigment. So if you do brush up against it, scratch up against it, you're not going to have like a big white line, anything like that. 
Uh, also, it gives a really high-end appearance because of that gel coat. You can see your reflection in here. So it's very reminiscent of what you have with like uh, some of your full paint. However, it's a lot easier to repair. If you ever do get it scratched, it's a lot cheaper. You know, you're not having to repair like four different paint colors on like a full paint coach. So I really do like what they use here. Uh, also, as far as the construction itself, so one of the things that are super important is your foundation or your structure, just like it is in your home. And Freedom Elite is one of the best out there when it comes to the Class C. Uh, it, it's tough to explain uh, is without having the picture, but essentially, you have your two big main rails coming from the chassis. That's you know what you have from Ford. Then across that, most manufacturers just have little outriggers on the sides of those rails. So there's really not a lot of support in the center. What they do with the Freedom Elite is they use uh, more ride as their upfitter and they actually put I-beams going all the way across. So not only do you have strength on the outriggers on the outside, but also on the inside. So think about it. Most manufacturers that are out there, you have all that weight just on the outriggers. That's a lot of weight to have on the outside. Having those I-beams all the way across is awesome for structural integrity. Also helps take a lot of the road noise out because it's a much sturdier structure. And then speaking of road noise, on top of those I-beams, they put a neoprene layer on every single one, which takes out an impressive 98% of harmonic vibration coming into the coach. Again, you want to talk about you know, having a nice, quieter coach while you're going down the road, be able to have communication with each other, that will allow you to do it. So some awesome construction features when it comes to the Freedom Elite. You'll see right out here you have a couple electrical outlets. Again, all this is great camping space. You need to plug something in. You know, you have a rear kitchen here we'll see in just a second. Maybe you want an electric griddle. Cooking some pancakes up in the morning for everyone. Set that up right here. You can flip some pancakes. Good to go. Coming around to the outside, I just mentioned the outside kitchen, and here it is. One of my favorite parts about it is the refrigerator. You know, if uh, you want to entertain some guests, you can have some beer in here, some pop, some juice, whatever it may be. Great spot for condiments. If you want to cook up some hot dogs, some uh, hamburgers, you know, you have your ketchup and mustard right out here. Little nice extra storage area. You know, if it were myself, I'd probably have some red Solo cups in there, but you know, whatever you want to put in there, uh, you certainly can. LED light right up top here as well. Then if we take a look underneath, you'll see you have a little tray right here. It's your little uh, you know, soap or sponge tray there. And over to the side, you have this nice full extension drawer. So if you need a place to put you know, some plasticware, that can go right out here for you. Make it right a little bit further. Fresh water drain, super convenient. Far too often, you know, you go out boondocking because it's self-sufficient, right? You have a 4,000 watt generator on here. We'll see in just a little bit. So you fill up your water tanks, you're done. And now to dump it out, you have to crawl underneath the coach to dump out your fresh water tank. Not the case here, it's right here. Just flip that over, you're all set. So naturally the fill is not far. Your fresh water fill is right up there to fill up your tanks. Now we called this an outside kitchen, but you're like, Ian, where do I cook? Do not worry, right here is your propane quick connect. So all you have to do is get a, your grill or something, hook it, you know, set it up right here, hook it into that propane quick connect that we don't have to bring your small little bottles. You'll be a cooking machine in no time. Right back here, this is an awesome storage area. Take a look at how deep that is. If you have really long items, like let's say, you know, you love to go fishing. You want to take this out fishing, you can put your fishing poles in there, you know, without having to break them down. That is an awesome feature to have there. Either way, great storage area right there. So we come around to the back, built-in rear ladder as you would expect, you know, you want to be able to climb up onto your roof, maybe for a better view, something like that. But more importantly, we we'll probably want to get up there for maintenance. This will allow you to do that. And you'll also see they put a grip strip right here on the uh, painted bumper. Uh, that way you will make sure that you're not gonna lose your grip if it's wet, maybe it rained out, something like that. Uh, painted bumper is awesome too, because uh, you know it's less chance for it to rust out on you. So that way it's a nice, great looking bumper. And then underneath right here, this is phenomenal. That is an 8,000 pound hitch. You know, maybe you have a bigger vehicle you wanna to tow, you wanna to tow a truck or something behind you. With this, you can do it. You know, you want to tow another trailer or a boat, whatever it may be, an 8,000 pound hitch gives you uh, a lot more flexibility in what you can tow here. If you take a look up top above that rear picture window, you will see the backup camera there as well. I mentioned that previously when we were inside, just put it in reverse, you can see what's behind you. That way you don't hit anything or more importantly, anyone. Let's come around to the off door side here, a couple quick features. One, you do have two slide outs out on here. One of the things you will notice if you look right up top, both of those slide outs have toppers. The reason that that is important and that is something you want is normally, you know, if you're camping, a lot of times there's trees, right? You want to get out with nature. 
Well, sometimes they uh, may have pine cones or acorns or you know sticks that are going to fall from dead limbs. When those things fall on top of your slide, if you don't get up there and brush them off normally, when you put that slide in, it can get into your seal and damage your seal, which can cause leakage problems. With that slide out topper, you don't have to worry about that. They'll sit right on top of that topper. When you push this slide in, they will roll right off, fall off the side of the coach. That way it won't uh, cause any issues. So that again, helps make things a lot easier on the maintenance side, and that's a standard. You don't have to pay extra for that. When you come around to this side here again, large storage area off to the side. You know, the one on the other side was nice and long and deep, but if you have larger items like chairs, grills, things like that, you need a spot to put them, and that is what this provides. Uh, the hinge right here is really nice too. It kind of stays wherever you put it, so you know it's uh, that way if you need to get into things, you don't have to worry about it slamming back on you or anything like that. Right outside here is your fuel tank, uh, 55 gallon tank. Right next to that is your uh, inlet, in case you have cable at your campsite. And then your power is right down here, nice and easy to open up. That just clips into place. You can see your power cord right there. Making our way down a little bit further, this is your city water inlet right here. I showed you the fresh water fill it was on the other side. And then your Atwood water heater right next to that. As I showed you inside, this one does run off both propane and electric. Uh, it also is DSI, so you don't have to come out here and constantly light a pilot. If we take a look underneath, open this guy up for you here. Uh, so this makes it nice and easy to get to your terminations. You can see those are right down here. You have both the gray and black valves there. So super simple to be able to get to those. That way you don't have to you know, get down your hands and knees trying to reach up under there. Over to the side, this will be your propane right here. Right there you are, 40, uh, 40 pound propane tank. Easy enough to fill. And then right over here is your Cummins Onan uh, quiet generator, 4,000 watt Jenny there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Thor Freedom Elite 29 FE. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker. Let's go camping.